Hey, um, listen, I, I want to thank you immensely. I recently had a post that um, has been shared around the world and I've been receiving so much love for that and I want to thank you immensely. If you haven't seen it, just click like on the page or head over there. It's about the greatest gift that a man could ever give a woman. And what I'd love to do now is to speak about the greatest gift that a woman could ever give a man. And this is the perfect time to be describing it because look at how beautiful this sunset is. Because it's that. That is the greatest gift that a woman could ever give a man. When a woman asks me, how is it that I can find a man that describes things so beautifully as you do? Well, to be honest, I was never the poet. You know, it's a conversation that I had once with a person I care about immensely. And I asked her, you know, is it the poet that creates the poem or is it the poem that creates the poet? And we look back on antiquity and we think of all these people that describe things so beautifully, so eloquently, that they put their pen to the paper and what comes out is something magnificent that draws us in emotionally. We think it's the poet that created the poem, not realizing that once he was in nature, marveled, just in the awe, in the spectacle of observation, to see the, the, that, that bird fly overhead or the way that the wind would blow past the trees. And, and the woman is no different. The woman is the poem. You, as a woman, if you're watching this, are the poem. And for you to express yourself fully, that is the greatest gift that you can give a man. To, to experience that beautifully, the, to give us the gift of your beautiful emotions, to, to appreciate us, to, 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 to be in the presence of that. That poem creates the poet. And, you know, it's, it's something that I had recently when I was describing, you know, um, a person that I care very deeply about, that same person, to Don Miguel Ruiz's son. You may have heard his books, The Mastery of Love or The Four Agreements. Well, his son and I were having a conversation. I said, you know, this person that I care about, I, I don't explain her or I don't describe her by her looks while many people would. What I describe her is the way her mind, her beautiful mind, the way she makes me feel in that moment. It's, you know, I can walk through through a forest now look at a leaf and in her presence I don't just see the leaf I look at all the different insects that ever graced the, that leaf with their presence all the raindrops that have ever been on that leaf and as those raindrops ever fall off of that leaf or the way that leaf will eventually change color or how that leaf will will eventually spin to the ground the photosynthetic process of that leaf it's as though my creative faculties are completely blown open wide in the presence of that person in the presence of her femininity of her poetry you know, relationships are poetry, and, and while we can bring the poet, I say, I am the poet, she is the poem, she can bring the poem, you can bring the poem, you are the poem. And, and so when I see that, you know, to experience a sunset with a person that you care about immensely, and to look over and to see her radiance, her radiance as equal as that sun, so that, that way when I see a sunset afterward, I don't just see the sunset, but I see, I see her in it. And to be there in the presence of that sunset with her, to look over and to see her smile as if suspended in a sunbeam I touch forever. I am a poet because you are the poem. So if you want to find that poet, become the poem. And don't do it for me. Don't do it for that, to find the poet. Do it because you are a poem. It's when you become the poem it feels good. And the poet will show up, I promise you. Because at the end, the poet and the poem are one and the same. You know, when I look back at my own experience, I wasn't born a poet. The poem created me. So if this moved you, I would love for you to share it with the rest of the world. Um, you've done that beautifully already. And, you know, message me, send me love. I'll send you love right back. I'll comment. I, I want to share one last thing with you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you. And don't forget about a thing called love.